Hey everyone, we've put together 12 tips on how to get more out of your samples. By the way, all the samples in this video are from our own sample packs and you can find them in the link below. We hope you enjoy it. Number one, loop inside loops. In case you heard a loop that you liked, you don't have to use all of it. You may want to use just a segment of it. So just search your way around the loop and find your own little bits and pieces. Tip number two, although most of the sounds here were recorded in 130 BPM, don't limit yourself to that. Almost every doll allows you to shift the BPMs and change the key. And you can really come up with interesting sounds if you experiment with the different algorithms. Create your own loops. Pick a couple of loops that you like. Try to mix them together to your own taste and to unify them, use some effects on and you'll come up with interesting loops. If you made the loop you like, you can also record it into a new audio file and then you've got even more possibilities. Tip number four, use interesting effects. Once you have your loop, you can spice it up with different effects. That's always going to give it more life. Tip number five, create new harmonies. And even though everything is recorded here on a specific key or scale, you can change it up and just come up with new melodies and new harmonies. Just pick a pad or a sequence you like and make something completely new out of it. What's important here is the vibe that was recorded. But out of these sources, you can come up with really interesting things. Tip number six, layer sounds together. You can totally create depth if you pick, for example, a few pads and just mix between them in your own special way. You can come up with new sounds and you can play with the key of each one to create totally new harmonies. Once you've done that, you can also unify them and glue them together by having all of them go through the same chain and maybe all of them sent into the same auxiliary effects. Tip number seven is to shift the starting point. You can come up with really cool results if you shift the starting point and actually match the sequences more to the overall track or the loop. And you don't have to restrict yourself to four by four. You can come up with very interesting rhythms if you just play around with them. Maybe add one of the loops to really feel the new sequence we came up with. And of course we can do anything to the loop, things like reverse or whatever you like. Tip number eight, use auxiliary effects to glue samples together. Let's try some delay effect on it. This is definitely a good way to make everything sound like it's playing in the same space. Tip number nine, dry samples equals possibilities. The reason we've chosen to have most of our samples dry is because dry samples are really easy to fit in the mix. Of course, they're less impressive when you hear them at first, but you have to use your imagination. You can come up with any chain you want. It doesn't have to be just a delay or reverb. You can even use a different channel of that. For example, let's multiply this channel, maybe shift it up an octave or two, and have it play 100% reverb. And now with these two layers, we created a totally new sound. Dry samples are definitely a great thing to use for you to create your own sound. Tip number 10, stretching. This goes for one shots, you can make them much shorter or much longer. Uh, just try it out and come up with new samples. Tip number 11, use samplers for randomness. This is also a tip for one shots. Let's take for example a bunch of hi-hats and put them in a sampler. In this case it's Ableton's drum rack. And now we can play a totally random pattern. Once we have a random pattern, we can add some human element to it. We can shift the starting point and we can change the drums a little bit. And also we can make it even more random by using MIDI effects like velocity or pitch. And then you can record it and select the part that you like best. And because this is made out of different samples, maybe try using some effects to make them sound like they're all part of the same thing. In this case, I've used a simple distortion. 
tip number 12, create new sounds. In this case, let's select one of the laser samples and put it in a sampler. This time we're going to use the MIDI arpeggiator effect and we're going to set it to a non-synced mode. And now we can make a totally new sound out of that. If you're using Ableton's macro options, you can set one knob to control a few parameters. Now that we've made this new sound, we can use something like sidechain to fit it into the mix. Just because you're using samples that were pre-made does not mean that you can't use them in your own personal ways. If you like the sounds, make sure to head over to our website in the link below. And of course, if there's any specific technique you'd like to see, let us know in the comment section. See you next time.